Hi everyone, it's Ian here. I'm living on the west coast of Ireland on the Dingle Peninsula and we're just copying the I suppose the tail end of the hurricane that hit New York State a couple of days ago. It's not too bad. It's pretty windy around here whether we have a hurricane or not. Um, and it's only it's not even winter yet. It's only mid-September, but anyway, as you can see, there's no trees. Well, they can't grow around here, so we're a bit exposed. But what it is good for is brilliant for testing micro wind generators, which we have here. That's our. Hang on a second. Now. There we are. There's our micro wind generator. With the help of Missouri Wind and Solar. Um, they supplied the blades and the PMA and I've built the rest myself um, it's fully furling over speed protected uh, the blades are angled at about 9 degrees which is pretty revolutionary um, I won't go into too much of that but I just want to show you what sort of power you can get out of a, a, uh, a, a micro wind generator and there's our wind speed 25, 26, 23, ooh, 33. So the wind's still gusty out there. And um, that's, our, that's our socket there. All of our power comes in from the shed into this socket. So that's all I've done so far. And with that, we power all our lamps in our house. Um, to show you. We've got that lamp, that lamp, and that lamp. Uh, we can also, we can use, we can, I cooked some toast the other day on the, using the wind. Um, we can use the microwave, radio. Um, we can power our laptops, mobile phones. Um, anything up to 2000 watts. Um, now I'll take it out to the shed and we'll show you some amp readings before I show you there's Barry Barry the cat, he's a wild cat so he's going to run like hell as soon as I open the door and uh, he's just had some chicken so bear with me now okay There's the turbine. Been up there to survive the night. night. And I'll show you some amp readings. Whoa. Okay. Whew. Now, I'll just get it into focus. I'll have to open the door a sec. So the door won't blow away. Better close the door. Roar me up the field. Anyway, twenty. That's the divisional dump load going into the heat sink there. And um, she's just 30 amps. 30 amps. And is she hitting 40 there? So the tail, like I said, the turbine has got a furling tail, which that's an overspeed protection on it, which she takes it up to about 40 amps, and then she'll furl out of the wind. I did see 60 amps the other day, um, but the, the, sh the one I'm building in the shed, which is the next prototype one from that one, uh, actually hopefully we're going to get up to about 70 amps and we'll get about 1000 watts. But for, you know, we're getting about four, or 500 watts at the moment, which is alright, which goes into a, 
our battery bank. I've only got two 400 amp hour rolls batteries at the moment, deep cycle rolls batteries. Um, but I've, I've made up a battery box, insulated battery box, so it does get colder in the winter. Um, and I have eight, and I hope to have eight of them. Um, and there we go again, nearly hitting 40. There she goes, 40 amps. So, anyone out there that's heard that Missouri Wind and Solar PMAs don't put out amps are kidding themselves because they do. I've seen this to hit 75 amps before I put the furling wind turbine up. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure what happened, but we had a wind speed of about 60 miles an hour and um, either the hub bent or one of the bolts sheared or something. I'm not pointing any fingers, but <coughs> basically what I like to do is test things to the limit. When they break, we repair them and move, make a better one. So, there she goes again. And that's my, that's my inverter. Modified sine wave inverter, 2000 watt. Uh, I will get the pure sine wave, but that one will do me for the time being. And um, that's just a battery charger. Which, some, if you do have a sort of a dry spell, you do need to keep the batteries topped up. Um, but you don't get many dry spells around here. Maybe in the summer you might get a week with no wind or something. So, hopefully what I want to do is, instead of diverting the, the, the dump diversion load into the heat sink there, I actually want to wire it into our hot water system, into our house. Which is pretty straightforward and pretty cheap to do. Um, so I'll be doing that this winter. So we have free hot water from the wind. There she goes. So, anyway, I'll take you back inside. If I can survive the journey back. Whoa! the garden. It's, like I said, it's a pretty exposed site. And uh, hopefully I'll get this, I'll get, upload this onto YouTube and um, people can see that you can run your home from the wind and without spending tens of thousands of pounds on expensive wind turbines. Uh, like I say, Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar helped me. I'm sure he'll help you. And um, anybody out there that rubbishes his product, uh, sadly they've got it wrong. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Um, I'll make another video soon when I get the new turbine up and we'll watch some real amp readings then. Thanks again. Bye.